And the moment we've all been waiting for, the pork has returned. Hello, this is Wobbled Dad, Katie, Liam, from um, Barely Controlled Chaos and the Great Heights, and we're doing a video. <laughs> I don't know what the video is about. He didn't tell us. It's okay. So about a week ago. Self sabotage. <laughs> so about a week ago, um, Liam and I, Liam, hi Liam, took our pigs Big to the uh, the farm. <laughs> we took the pigs to the farm, and the farmer took them to the butcher the next day. And today, my wife drove out to the butcher to go get the pork. So we're kind of eagerly anticipating bacon yes bacon and trust me after all the work that it took <laughs> to get them in the truck right bacon yes yeah i think one of them actually dislocated my middle finger it was really a very un very painful, painful. It still hurts um they will taste especially good so i'm really excited about that however um one thing mm, this is for anyone who just randomly ponders upon this and and says, the oh, dick treat the pigs. We didn't. We gave them lots of leftovers. They were very happy. Yeah, they were. They had very happy lives. Had one bad hour <laughs> in their whole life. So, um. Bad hour. What you doing? <laughs> on a pig? <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> normally, my wife would take. Normally, my wife would take our van to go do something like this because obviously it's a lot of meat. Two pigs worth of meat is quite a bit of meat. Uh, but unfortunately, our van is sitting right here because we had some issues with it. So let me explain what we did just real quick, just because it's, it's kind of interesting. In case anybody else has a big family like ours that is interested in what we did. Car up, or we tried to start the car up the other day. Basically, we turned the key and it got nothing. No click, no no nothing. Um, so we did a little bit of research online and we thought maybe it was this switch right here. This is a, a common problem for these transit vans uh, where the ignition switch won't work. Um, so we went to the local auto place and grabbed an, uh, a new switch and put it in there. A very quick, easy thing to do. I'm um, just take this stuff off, this, this paneling off down here. Um, but it turns out when we brought it home again, put the new switch in, it didn't make any difference. So we did a little more research and um, found some, something even more interesting. Liam went out and took a look at, we've had issues with starters before and um, you know we, we actually had a little Saturn that we actually, when we first got it, you had to go bang on the, the starter with a hammer every, um, every you know, few days to get it to start properly. But he uh, he got underneath there and took it was taken it was going to check the starter out and bring it out and, and check it and uh, so he took one terminal off and he went to go take the second terminal off. Alrighty, so I went to go put the wrench on this small one so I could remove it. You see it? Look at that. I didn't notice that until I just slid the socket off. But yeah, that that would be our issue. And it is literally rusted off. Um, it literally broke, the plastic broke uh, due to rot from the salt and everything that we that they use in New York. This car is really not very old and we've only had it for a few years. You can see how much damage the salt did to this thing. Um, and again, another reason <laughs> I'm happy we don't live there anymore, but yeah, you can see. Um, this just broke right off. So we ordered a new starter. Um, unfortunately, because it's a fancy starter for a big van, it's gonna take us a while. It's gonna take five to six days before we can get it, but we'll show you when we reinstall it. Since we're talking about the pigs, and I wanna talk, talk about the, uh, the new pigs as well. Um, so they're out here someplace. Let's see where they are. They weren't down in the barn a couple of months ago. This is finally dried up enough that you can actually walk on it without sinking in, which is a huge improvement. You guys up here? Nope, they're not up here. It still stinks to high heaven. Ah. But at least it's not as smushy. <clears throat> oh, 
they're hiding under their bathtub? Be down in the barn then. Let's go take a look. They've been, they've been coming down here quite a bit. And actually that's what I wanted to show you is they actually have been coming into the barn. Oh there they are. They've actually been coming in here and hiding out in here. They're getting a little friendlier. You can tell that these they're still kind of skittish because as soon as I come in here they stand up. Um, but at least they're um, at least they're more friendly now. They're they're not running away the second I walk in here. So one thing I want to mention is that uh, when I took the pigs up to the farm, the uh, farmer who was there actually talked to me. He said, you know, oh, he said, oh, they're, they're skinny too. He said, when we grew ours out, they grew out skinny. Cause I kept, being, I was really concerned that they weren't fat. Cause they were, you know, they weren't big and round. These pigs got really long and tall but they were not very fat. Um, apparently, this particular breed that we got, that's relatively normal. So um, <clears throat> that's made me feel better that we hadn't screwed something up. Again, really hoping these things are gonna taste good. And the moment we've all been waiting for, the pork has returned. She's picked out. Well, you're very, very nice. has already gone inside, but this is what two pigs looks like with the minus one box. Well, up. two small pigs. Smaller. All right, so our freezers are full of meat, and we have so we're good there, at least with pork. Um, we've got some venison, we've got some chickens, um, and we've got some beef left over from one of our uh, relatives. So we're pretty good on meat, so that's really good. Excellent. Uh, we've got a lot of projects still going on that we need to get done. And <clears throat> so we're going to start working on those. And I did promise that I would start talking about video or doing videos specifically focused on each one of our animals, what we're doing, how we're doing it, and uh, what our plans for the future are. So I'm going to start. I have been working on those, and those are going to come out uh, relatively soon. So. Until then, we'll talk to you next time. <laughs>